This is a closely watched set of negotiations, though very private uh, and not for public consumption. Uh, to the criticism of so many people around the world and uh, those involved in the countries who are going to be members of TPP, is this one of the main issues that are being discussed? Well, uh, you know, these negotiations have to be uh, closely held in private so that they can do their job at, and negotiate. The, the key point here is to get a deal that each of these negotiators can get back to their legislative bodies and can get approval. And so as soon as an agreement is reached, it will go back uh, for approval. And, and then that's when the agreement will be made public and uh, the public discourse can, can take place uh, transparently and, and in public. Okay, but of course, uh, a deal has to be struck first. Atlanta, this is ground zero right now. Uh, over the next couple of days, uh, how likely are we going to see a TPP deal after five years of negotiations? Well, it feels like that there's real momentum, uh, but, you know, we wait and we speculate, and uh, we wait some more and we speculate some more. But uh, the trade ministers, I understand, are meeting now, and uh, they are in Atlanta with the intent on closing a deal. There are three or four issues that are very tough, uh, but there does feel like that there's momentum. And I'm a little greater than 50-50% uh, chance that we'll get a, a CN agreement out of, out of Atlanta this week. Well, Jackson, you're a chairman of Asia Pacific Council for the American Chambers of Commerce. There's a lot of upside, but there's a lot of details that need to be hashed out. It looks like there could be one in the auto uh, issue. 45% of the entire vehicle must originate uh, to get that uh, TPP tariff uh, exclusion. It looks like uh, they're close to agreeing on that rule. Um, how significant is that for countries like Japan, where their supply chain uh, extends outside of Japan? Well, a couple points on auto rule of origins. Uh, we learned in Maui at the end of uh, July that this was a major sticking point, uh, especially between Japan and Mexico and uh, Canada. Uh, the fact that they are reaching an agreement at 45%, I think is significant. Uh, it's down from the 60% threshold uh, under NAFTA, but it's certainly higher than the original 30% uh, rule of origin that Japan uh, had, had proposed. So what you see is uh, that that is a spirit of compromise and negotiation, which is exactly what's happening right now and what we wanna see coming out of Atlanta. The other reason why this progress on rule of origin I think is important is because TPP at the end of the day after it is approved is an aspirational agreement and uh, which means that it's open for other countries to join. And if you set those thresholds on auto parts too low, what's the incentive on uh, countries like Thailand for joining down, down the road in, in the future? So, I think that a nice compromise around 45%, if that's what uh, comes out of the negotiations, uh, then it it's, should be healthy for the agreement overall.